if women really cared. I don't. I mean, I just think like some people. Oh, she she hit her with the wait. What do you mean? What do you mean, beauty standards, Pearl? Yo, she got her good dad. Yeah, what's up? Talk to us about beauty standards, Pearl. So in the centrist is an anarchist. To be fair, she also wasn't, though, it, on other issues that pertain to her existence in a weird way. You can almost see Pearl thinking of the most heinous response. What's she going to say, bro? I mean, come on. It would be wild for, for Pearl to talk about, like, fucking beauty standards being fucked up. I mean, uh, beauty standards being good. Like, she can get away with being a pick-me girl, but I don't think she's going to be able to get away with that one. You know what I mean? Holy fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. Perfect the way you are. That's, or, that's, or, that's literally the core of it. You are perfect the way you are. And anyone who tries to tell you otherwise oh, is feeding into she wants the chime is so bad. Not true. What? No. Bro, the closer you are to traditional beauty standards, the more unhinged you get when beauty standards are brought up. I swear to God. Literally, always. It's crazy, dude. It's wild. No, that's not true at all. What the fuck? Even symmetry is not, like, even remotely true. Have you seen A24 movies? Like, what the fuck? The more you look like an alien, the better play you get. He's like, beauty standards are all about symmetry. I've never been to Europe, so I have no idea. I sure hope it's not different over there. Okay, have you seen a woman in Europe? A man in Europe? <laughs> 824 actor Papega. <laughs> also, it's so funny to say like health health is what uh you know dominates beauty standards when you think about like what was what the expectations uh, people had of like women's bodily standards in like the 90s when it was literally like you have to be one sandwich like one missed meal away from death to be considered sexy and have the perfect body okay that shit was crazy like they literally were like if you miss a sandwich appointment you're fucking dead that's hot I'm so turned on right now what the fuck and I think we're seeing so much more representation, which I think is incredibly important. Well, I just think that, like, if women really cared about beauty standards... Back in the day, beauty standards were literally, like, if you are... <laughs> I don't want... <laughs> I want women to be so skinny that they can't have a period. That's when it's hot, okay? That's the best beauty standard. Classic health. Like, arguably, I would say that, like, a little bit thicker becoming more normalized is unironically healthier than that, okay? Straight up, it's true. Many of you have no fucking clue, and you're thinking, oh, my God, that's so, I can't believe he said that, huh? Whatever, but, like, that's literally, that's true. If, you, if you're if you so skinny and, and uh, starving that you literally can't even have a fucking a period. Well, I just think that, like, we're All right, seeing let's hear so what she has to say, though. I, I'm, I'm I excited. Incredibly important. I'm going to assume, okay, are you ready? She's going to say something about fat women because, like, I guess that's the only way that she can, like, tackle this conversation as, uh, as you know, she does have Michael Phelps' uh, stature. So I assume she's going to be like, yeah, fat women, you know, it's just like she's going to say something like anti-fat shit. She has to play to something, you know what I mean? I think like some people Oh, she she fucking hit her with the wait, what do you, what do you mean? What do you mean beauty standards, Pearl? Yo! She got her good dad. Yeah, what's up? Talk to us about fucking beauty standards, Pearl. People are more attractive, some people are less attractive, and that's just you know. Oh, she's upset. <laughs> <laughs> she said what do you mean what about you with the beauty standards <laughs> oh no see that's the problem that's the problem that's the issue when you fucking argue as a woman for misogyny if you dick ride misogyny 
people are going to be misogynistic to you. Like, if you dick ride weird fucking beauty standards, especially if you do not, uh, especially if said standards are changeable and you want to make it seem like it's not changeable, even though it has changed throughout time, and you fucking don't even fit in those goddamn standards, why the fuck are you making that argument? It's so dumb. It's so stupid. Here, I mean, I, I want to watch that again. Look at her face as she fucking delivers that line. It's so good. Woo. If women really cared about beauty standards, like the obesity rate wouldn't be what it is. But what That's about you? To the <laughs> she said, but what about you? <laughs> Yo! Yo! She cooked her, dude. Oh my god, they're lit they had to get a close up of her face. Beauty standards. I don't. I mean, I just think like some people are more attractive, some people are less attractive, and that's. You see her soul get sucked out of her body when she got hit with the says you. Oh. Oh. That's so good. It's good to see. She folded. Yep, one hundred percent. Just. You know, where, where would I rate myself one to ten? Oh, well, we're not rating. It's okay. That's what, that's what I mean. <laughs> oh, no. She said, you don't have to do that. We already know. Oh, oh, oh. She said, God don't like ugly. That's what she said. You don't have to twist it. You don't have to twist the knife. Oh, my God. She really lost the plot. Like, she got cooked so hard, she unironically had nothing left in the tank like she was one hp okay she was one hp and it fried her she was like uh the the beauty standards if they were skinny women would conform to them right is the argument is the argument that if beauty standards were real why would you choose to be ugly am i getting that right i don't even know i've lost the plot i got so involved with the with that incredibly effective counter that kind of made this entire video worthwhile to watch i'm gonna i'm gonna end it here